I didn't say that uh, the trailers should disappear from uh, a papa in 24 hours. No, the trailers cannot leave, uh, would not leave a papa anyway, because a lot of these, these trailers are container trailers. What happened in a papa was that there was a gridlock. It was impossible for movement because, and th there's, there's so many reasons why that gridlock developed around a papa. The first is that the port in a papa, and I'm sure, and I think someone has mentioned, the port in a papa is congested. This is a 35 million metric ton port that is now doing 85 million metric tons. So there's no way that it will not be congested. Now, part of the problem is that Apapa was developed as a port from where, where there was a rail route. So rail will take out the goods from Apapa, but the rail route was never used, never developed. So now, we're, what, what we're doing now is starting the Lagos Kano narrow gauge rail from the Apapa port, because that's one of the fastest ways and most effective ways of taking cargo out. A lot of the cargo that is taken out of Apapa today, because of the 30-ton trucks and some of the huge trucks, destroys the roads. You know? And so because the roads are destroyed, you know, obviously it makes it more difficult for the trucks to move smoothly out of the place. And many of the trucks have to come back. So they take the containers out and they return the containers and take a deposit. So the process of going around, especially on the terrible roads in that locality, is what created the gridlock. So the first order of business was to ensure that that gridlock was reduced, which is what uh, the instructions I gave, and we're able to reduce the gridlock. But what, is, but what we're doing now, I'm sure that if you are following, uh, you would notice that uh, just four weeks ago, about three weeks ago now, we uh, started, we, we uh, gave out the contract for uh, the main route out of Apapa all the way up to Mile 2. Then the route around Liverpool, the route around the port itself, is being done now under a tax credit scheme by Dangote and Flower Mills. So they are sorting out that road and they'll get a tax credit for doing so. That's, you know, uh, one of the innovations around creating... <laughs> Uh, creating the environment. So we think that we'll be able to resolve the problem around Apapa, but obviously the, roads, the road network there needs to be uh, dealt with.